just don't think I know what you're asking me. I guess permission. Okay, sure. Her and her girlfriend want a baby, like now. They're serious about it. And so they put it to me straight. I've known them forever. I'd love to help, I think. But before I could give it proper consideration, I thought of you. Me. And how happy you seem to be when we talked about it. Y yeah. Um, how long ago was that? When, when was that? When, when, when was, was, was that 11, definitely yeah, me? I'm looking about that. It was in Bartiki. Oh yeah, when they um, when they gave the reserved area to that hen party because no one turned up. My 21st. So good. We were all in fancy dress. We were all in fancy dress. <laughs> so funny. I have this memory of you dressed as a nun asking me about making your babies. Yeah. What am I like? And because I said then I'd be your donor, I didn't want to say to Neve that I'd definitely give her my sperm if you still wanted it. Gross. Because if I'm giving my sperm to one pair of women, I don't think I could give it to another pair and be known as like the man who supplies sperm to his lesbian friends. That would be a weird niche. And I'm not even sure if you wanted me to be the sperm donor for your child and then also for Ollie's when she has her second kid. If you are planning on carrying one baby each, I know. Gay couples usually want there to be shared sperm or shared egg or whatever, so their kids are still related. Yeah, that sounds best. But some people don't care. Yeah, I don't think we care. I read all about it in Insemination, Creation and Me, the Lesbian Compendium. I should borrow that. By Serenity Duvage. Duvage. She did that TED Talk, Queering, Queering and Me. She did. So? So if you did have Neve's baby, you couldn't have mine. No. And um, when do I have to decide? Well, I have to decide. Oh, sorry, you, not me. I should <laughs> let them know this weekend. Okay, great. A few days for me to decide whether I want you to be the father of my children. ASAP. <laughs> great. What were you dressed as at that party again? Frogs. That's right. That, yeah. I don't even remember the fucking party. Unsurprising. Why? I remember that party. And your slutty nun get up. You were a hot mess. Okay. Actually, there was nothing hot about you that night. Okay. Mess is right though. God's servant baptised in a river of strongbow and shame. Oh, so why did he take it so seriously then? Who follows up on drunk plans? Yeah, just like us at 1am every Friday night. Determined we're gonna set up that cattery in Croydon. Never happens. It never happens. I mean, it's sweet. He's... He's sweet and really thinking about it and taking everything into consideration, but... Fuck! So have his gabies then. <laughs> gabies? Uh, can we not use gabies? I'd like the bi community represented, please and thank you. Bybies? Baybies. Queerbies. LGBTQIA bees. Uh, well, this guy sounds great. I love his queerbies, bybies, gabies. He's straight. Oh. oh. I just felt all possessive. Okay, like sober me would never consider him as the father of my children. But when he asked me if I would give him up to these other women, I was like, mm -mm. stay the fuck away from my sperm, you thieving queers. Ugh, but you don't want to lead this straight boy on. Can you lead boys on about taking their sperm? Yeah. Imagine if you go, don't you dare come in any turkey baster but mine. Then in a couple of years, you're like, ah, oh, not really sure if I fancy my kids having that freaky forehead. So you go and seek sperm elsewhere. Then he's like, oi, where's my gay bee? Does he want a gay bee though? I mean, why is, how does he have so many prospective gay bees on the go? It's weird. Yeah, I haven't got any wombs on offer. Where are all my volunteered ovaries? Right, uh, vegan paella spring rolls and patatas chowmin. Oh, perfect. Cheers. Look, just don't tie yourself down. There's literally billions of sperm and literally billions of straight men that you can just harvest later on. Just put your feet up, take off your bra and flip through a catalogue. Treat yourself. Yeah, and why do you even want sperm? It's not your only option. Like, have you seen sperm? It's white and runny and I don't trust it. Oh, look, just put a brangelina, yeah, and adopt one from every continent. Look, I probably want to have a kid one day and maybe I'll want to have it myself. Maybe I'll want to think more about that someday. Maybe I won't want my genitalia to have anything to do with it. Maybe I will foster 12 teenagers and get a TV show. I'll fucking figure it out when I get there. You're only 28. You're not going to pop one out now, are you? So why is this getting to you?
Can I help oh, you with something? No, oh. I just, um, I just, no, God, this is my I'm car, so sorry, so. I'm so sorry, no, 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 it's fine. Why does this smell like bad breath? Hey. Hey. How was Matt? What did he want to talk about? Um, did he come out? No, no, yeah, um, okay, so, uh, I need to talk to you about it. It's actually a big thing. Okay. So basically, Seriously, sort of what is that smell? Is it me? Probably. No, you're good. You're good. Um, okay, so basically. Oh, God! Shut the fuck up! Don't oh, my... It's the girl I went travelling with. Please, What's please that? don't judge me. <laughs> well, if it is a little miss, shit yourself in my canoe, Claire. Yeah, uh, thank you. Hi. You shat in her canoe. I hope that's not a euphemism. It's me! Yeah, I know. Jane! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and who the bloody hell is this sexy lady meet? It's... Oh, oh, I'm Ollie, Claire's girl. <laughs> I would slay a whole village of townspeople to get my hands on a scarf like that. Well, uh, genocide averted, it's from Zara. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't believe you came. That is so sweet of you. No, no problem. What's happening? Oh, I passed my grade eight singing oh, with a merit. Yeah, thank you. I'm just having a little drinks thing at mine, you know? I, but some people didn't respond to my Facebook invites, so I didn't know if they were coming, so I was racked with social anxiety. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm kidding, wow. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just go and buy some drinks to contribute. Oh my God, yeah, I yeah. literally have just bought so many drinks for everyone at mine. I just nipped out the apple sours. Okay. Um, did you Oh, no, 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 whatever you want. I've got it. snacks. I've literally, you know, come, just come, 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 come. Just a girl from New York City in her dreams. But she's actually from Milton Keynes. And she dreams of a better life. A better life. A lone girl looking into the mirror as the feelings inside her just simmer. As she dreams of a better life. Better life. I'm me, and I know who I'm gonna be, and it's me, coincidentally, I'm gonna live my story, live my story. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry, I invited him, I hope that's okay. Oh my god, of course, oh no, invite everyone, invite anyone! <laughs> no, <laughs> but if you do know more people, do invite them, if you want, <laughs> please. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is Claire's best friend from Travellers. She's not my best friend. I met her when I was travelling. Okay, well, there is a photo of the two of you with the caption, never want this day to end, and then that little emoji of the two women going... Wow. Okay, I was sad and 19. Leave me alone. Okay, 10 years later, I didn't think I'd still be on her invite list. Jesus Christ, I didn't even know this was happening. Me! Do you guys want some wine? Why am I even asking? I'll get glasses. Okay, quickly, before they pull us in for another chorus number. What did you, um, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh, no, 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 I'll, I'll tell you about no. it later. No, come on, tell me now, you're scaring me. Are you leaving me for twatty Le <laughs> Um, Matt asked me if I want him to be my sperm donor. Um, why does he think you want his sperm? Because apparently we had a conversation about it at uni. Okay. Um, and I thought I'd be like, ew, no, you know, but every time I even have a thought about, you know, telling him to take a sperm elsewhere, I feel like I'm losing something. So, okay, tell him you might want a sperm? Yeah, I, I probably do want one, but I mean, now. I know this is so so out of the blue and I know I, was, I said that I would have them when I was 30 which is actually quite soon and you know it might not work out the first time but baking a baby takes nine months so I just don't know why I've, I'm finding logistical reasons for it I know so many straights who have had kids these past few years and I don't know why it's so mad that I a 28 year old with a stable job 
might want to have kids. I'm allowed, and you know, maybe it's because I'm I'm queer, so it's just. But I, I probably, I probably do want to have one now. Claire, I'm no, no, I, no, no. I'm so, I'm sorry. I don't, look, I don't want you to think that I haven't thought about you. Okay, these past ten months have been amazing. I've never been this happy and comfortable with anyone. And I know you're only 24, and and you know you're still young. And I'm really scared to kind of spring this up on you and scare you away. But I really feel like I need to move towards this. You don't actively have to do anything. I mean, you can. I love you, and I want you to be involved. But if you can't, I totally get it, and you don't have to. Oh my god, this sounds like a project management meeting. I know we said we'd think about it in the next few years, but I thought that was like in a few years. No, I know, me too. And in what scenario do you have a kid and we're together and I'm not involved? Like, even if you're doing it on your own, if we're together, I'm still going to be, like, I'll still be a part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're sure? Yeah, I, I think I am. Well, I'm not going to leave you or anything. No matter what you do, like, if this is what you feel is what you want to do right now, then I'll be here and everything. Lisa's your birthing coach that you occasionally shag. Really? Yeah. Dranks, dranks, dranks! Reuben? <laughs> yeah, I know it's white and you like red, fine, but I want to be basic with a cheap white, so soz. No. I would have thought by now I would have stopped shamelessly buying the cheapest wine. Well, cheapest apart from the value one in a plastic bottle. Um, I'm going to tell Matt that I want his sperm. Okay. So you want him to be the father of your gay bee someday? She thinks she might want to start trying now. Fuck off. Who? Fuck off, Ruben, I won't. You want to grow a person? Yeah, just you know, grow one right up in my womb. <laughs> Massive cosy womb, prime real estate. TripAdvisor, five star, would incubate Gaby again. <laughs> Great Yelp reviews. Oh. Yeah. Yelp? <laughs> Grandma, are you sure the oven's still in working order? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though? Yeah. Right. So we're having a gay bee. We. Yeah, we. Rude. Guess we are. <laughs> and I want to thank you all for this opportunity to sing my songs and just be me. Because I want to be me, to reflect it in the real me, to be you, to be me, to be my friends at my show, to be everyone that I know. Everybody say hey. hey. I want to be independent Telling you right now This is gonna be the one that I want to do forevermore And I want to be the new Anna Kendrick On the cups to show how I'm gonna be good